What's up guys? So today we're gonna go and check out what I'm doing with the engine and the car and all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna be explaining everything that I'm doing with this whole build. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be basically taking you guys along with me the entire way. So let's get over there and uh, I'll show you what's going on. Here it is, time to uh, paint it. I'm gonna be doing flat black and uh, only really doing the sides. So nothing else really needs to be painted on it. Everything's already touching oil, so just the sides. Let's do it. So what I'm basically doing with the primer is trying to fill in any imperfections and kind of smooth it out, even though you're not really gonna see the block once it's in the car. It's gonna be peace of mind to myself. Probably okay for primer. Probably let it dry a little bit and then come back and start spraying the black. So I guess while I wait for the paint to dry, I will go over what I plan to do. Um, as for the engine, I'm going to be doing comp 270 cams uh, with the corresponding valve springs and retainers for them. Um, completely regassing this entire engine. Uh, the head gaskets actually were kind of blown, which explains the overheating issues I had. Um, I believe this engine was rebuilt at one point. The bearings look newer, but I'm still changing the bearings, everything except for the main bearings. Um, PI heads and PI intake manifold I'm gonna be doing as well. I need a starter because uh, Jeremy broke it. Um, I'm gonna wrap my headers because That'll definitely help me with underhood temperatures. New valve seals, uh, piston rings, which I already have. Um, I already did my larger throttle body with the larger plenum and the plenum spacer. Uh, deleted the EGR. I am gonna be doing solid engine mounts or polyurethane engine mounts, I'm not sure yet. I'm leaning more towards the solid mounts because I can't for the life of me find a trans mount that will match at all. So I'm gonna need to custom make a solid trans mount. And that really should about do it for the engine. My power goals are around 300 to 325 at the wheels. Should be easily attainable, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I should be able to get that because this engine is going to be making more than a PI engine would because when you put the PI heads on a non-PI block, um, you're gonna be bumping up the compression to 10 and a half to one because of the heads, they have a smaller combustion chamber. So, um, and then I already bought 373 gears for the rear. Uh, that's gonna help out a lot. That's gonna allow me to use third gear, which I couldn't do before. A buddy of mine sold me some Feel 441 coilovers and Maximum Motorsports catch camber plates for the front. Um, I'm still gonna be running a shock and a spring in the rear. I like how it feels in the rear right now, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Possibly gonna be doing rear control on bushings to um, polyurethane. Uh, the new clutch will resurface my flywheel. And uh, I'm gonna also be probably changing the timing chains, the guides, all that stuff too. Just peace of mind, you know what I mean? All this stuff looks like it was definitely changed already, but I just wanna be 100% sure because I don't wanna put this engine back together and then just blow it up. Not, 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 not looking forward to that. So, um, I'm gonna be changing to Cobra brakes in the front and leaving my uh, GT brakes in the rear, but I'm probably gonna be getting rid of the dual caliper setup because I'm having so many problems with that where I'll do a lap, a lap or two around the oval and can't pull my hydro because it's too, it's locked up. So I, I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but that's gotta change. Um, yeah, and then I guess last, I'm gonna be changing up my exhaust setup. I bought two, uh, bullet style mufflers so it's gonna sound real good especially with the cams and everything and um, I have to tube the front because I crashed it too many times this year and there's there's just it's all rotted I found uh, my frame rails right underneath my strut towers are rotted so it's, it's uh, we gotta we gotta do a lot of stuff to the front of that car but yeah so that's that's pretty much gonna be the winter build and then obviously I'm gonna get a dyno to it. yeah once this engine dries we'll start painting the color on it Hell 
yeah, this thing looks awesome. This came out super good. I guess I could paint the valley, but I'm not really that worried about it. I'm not gonna see it anyway. That came out fantastic. Look at this. I like this one too. Oh uh, yeah. Now I just need to get all the gasket surfaces like this needs to get down to, uh, you know, metal. Same with the oil pan and all that stuff. I'm gonna have to redo head gasket mounting surface a bit because some paint got on there. And I guess I'll just do the, uh, I'll do the valley now. I mean, I, I'm not like super worried about that. I probably won't even prime it. I'll just paint over it because it's the point. Intake's gonna be there, so you're not gonna see it. I have no idea why I took the tape off of the head gasket surfaces, but I have to do that again now, apparently, because I have to paint the valley and I totally forgot. <sighs> black so <coughs> when this dries it'll look really good it'll basically look factory so I'm pretty much done for today I think um, this is a brand new water pump and it already looks like crap which is awesome um, I'm also gonna be replacing the oil pump and with the cams I'm gonna need these crank gears here so with aftermarket cams you need to adjust the timing your center line like they're not made um, all the same for some unknown reason I have no idea why don't ask me but you need to degree your camshafts and by doing that you'll get rid of pissing the valve clearance issues so that is a big thing that I don't know how to do but I'm gonna either figure out how to do it or pay somebody to do it because I want it to be right and I have never even heard of that until I started building this engine. So, you know, I've done timing bells, I've done timing chains on like multiple things, but this this is a whole other ball game when it comes to degreeing because I'm not good at math and that's basically all it is is math and I can't do that. So I'm actually real pumped with how this is coming out. It actually looks pretty damn good, I must say. Well, that's it for today's video. Um, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this entire build. It's gonna be so much fun. I never built a V8 before, so this is like my first actual, like, legitimate build. I've All I've ever built was four cylinders, and this is new to me, so I'm literally learning as I go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.